little I let it pick a random map and this is what it gave me. So you can't blame me for playing the same map so soon after the other one. Can't blame me. This is what the game decided for us. I like Steam Fortress though. It's a good map. I'm uh, I'm past the trauma on it from our uh, achievement hunting days. <laughs> I haven't done any achievements since then though. We really should be getting back on it. I'm feeling better about it now. Definitely not the objective stuff. Like 100% not the objective stuff. Um, but you know some uh, normal achievement hunting stuff could be pretty cool I think. Uh, like regular just do a game as a uh, gunslinger, do a game as berserker or whatever, you know. Get berserker to level 25, you know, that kind of stuff. We can we can do that, work on that. I mean, I want to work on those anyway cuz I want to get the uh, all the perks to 25 anyway eventually, right? So yeah, It's a good opportunity to to learn how the perks work to go back and play some of these uh, lower level maps for sure. Or these uh, not the lower level maps, but lower levels on random maps. To get some experience with Berserker and Demo and Firebug. Firebug especially. I suck as Firebug. I think I can do it with the... Um, I don't even know. I don't even know if I could do a Hell on Earth run with a... Yo, I wanted to bounce on you. I wanted to bonk you. I wanted to Goomba stomp you. I don't even know if I could do a Hell on Earth run as a Firebug on like any map. I just... I'm not good at Firebug. <laughs> it's not my... It's not my... My thing, you know? I'm not much into to fire bugs, you know, flamethrower kind of stuff in any game. You know, people are always uh, people are always in games. They're like, "Yo, you got a flamethrower? That's sick." Me too. Me included. It's sick. It's fun. I play with it for a bit, and I'm like, "Yeah, I just like to have something where I like point and click." You know, I'm more into the the point and click kind of uh, <laughs> stuff. You know, like uh, precision based stuff. More my my jam in games typically. I know that a lot of people tend to like the more flamethrower, like medic in uh, Team Fortress 2. I believe is kind of like a similar thing. You got like the health throwers or whatever, and then the damage thrower as well or whatever. I don't even know how they work. I think they're like lasers and they lock on. But I haven't played TF2 ever, so no, that's a lie. I played it for about an hour once. Wasn't super into it. We might go back and do a Yama check tries of it or something. It was many years ago, I don't know uh, how much the game would have changed, or how much I would have changed as a person. Both of those can, can affect how you... How much you enjoy a game, right? Like whether you you grew up and enjoyed something. Speaking of growing up, you guys ever uh, look at like a, a YouTuber you've been watching for a long time and just think about how long you've been watching them? Because I watch Etho, Etho's Lab on YouTube, he's a Minecraft YouTuber primarily, he does do other stuff occasionally, but not very often. Um, it's like 99% Minecraft. Um, but he's, a, he's like one of the biggest Minecraft YouTubers out there, right? Um, I enjoy watching him, I've been watching him for 10 years now, maybe? 10, you know, let's, let's find out, let's find out. Let's find out, okay? How long have I been watching Etho? Etho's Lab Let's Play 150. It's around episode 150 that I started. Don't play, don't play, don't play anything, don't play anything. Um, so it would have been 2012. So I would have been watching for about uh, eight years, eight and a half, nine years. Stop this, stop this. Eight, eight, somewhere in eight and a half to, to nine years kind of territory there. How long I would have been watching Ethos Lab, right? It's super quiet now. All of a sudden, so it's just my headphones. Could be. I'm uh, turning them off and on again right now. Yeah, just my headphones. Sometimes they go like really quiet for some reason. I'm not sure why. I have to like turn them off, turn them on again, and then they're like, hey, we got it. It's so whenever there's a, a loud noise, um, they like just die. <laughs> then I have to turn them off and then turn them back on again. It's super annoying, but is what it is, right? So anyway, I've been watching Etho for eight and a half to nine years or something like that. Like that's 
a long time to be uh, to be watching one YouTuber, right? And it, it makes you think, right? Because in uh, on like uh, okay, so I'm I'm 25 now, right? And when I started watching him, I would have been like 16. Re no, no. There's there's something wrong with this. I wasn't 16 when I started watching Etho. I was younger than that. Okay, so 10 years ago I started watching Etho. We'll we'll say I would have been 15 at the time. So uh, yeah, 10 10 years. So I'd have been 15 at the time when I started watching Etho. And uh, would it have been? Like, I just, just something seems wrong about this, okay? Like, uh, he wasn't doing that many episodes back then either. Etho plays Minecraft episode one. When was episode one? It was nine years ago. Huh, so it would have been 16. Okay. So I would have been, I guess I would have been 16 when I started watching Etho. That's bizarre, I thought I was younger. Regardless, I was 16 when I started watching Etho, right? I'm 25 years old now. Like, I've grown up a ton, you know? And uh, it's, it's, it's interesting for me because... Um, like, he still makes the same content. So it doesn't feel like he's grown up at all. Despite me having aged and, and, and matured and, and grown up and, and, and all that. You know, like, I'm, I'm much older now and much more mature and obviously the same would have happened to him right like he also would have aged and and changed as a person and and had new experiences and and all of this but it just doesn't feel like it through youtube so much you know like the, the content feels pretty much the same but i guess that's just because you know when you got something that works don't really you know, if it ain't broke don't fix it right but i don't know it's just, it's just kind of interesting to me to to see how long you can go not, not as a challenge thing, right? Just, just, just to, as a like an interesting thing to, to see how long you've been watching like one person, like how long. She shoots, she kills. I, I, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is me as a 16 year old when I found Ethos Lab, I was like, huh, this guy seems pretty cool. You know, I was like, yeah, I like this. I'm into it. Sure, I'll subscribe, right? And I subscribed, and I've, I've been subscribed on several accounts since and I've been watching it but it was it was like uh just kind of like a, yeah I like Etho sure you know I'm, I'm in and you never know how much of an impact that that decision is going to have on you until like almost 10 years later now when uh it's like you're still watching the same content you're still seeing it I don't know it's just to me it's just like a really cool feeling to to know that you know because because like all those years ago when I first found Etho and I, I subscribed and I never would have imagined that I'd still be watching it when I'm like 25 years old now like that that never would have crossed my mind I'd be like you know if, if you asked me would I still be watching Etho in 10 years my answer would probably have been yes, but I never would have thought about it, right? Like that's, I don't know. To me, it's just kind of cool. I just, I think it's really cool. And I, uh, I have that kind of uh, experience with a few YouTubers, um, Northern Lion in particular, uh, Zisto, Etho. Um, I think that's it actually. Who I've been watching for many, many, many years. And uh, you know, again, when when you find them forever ago, you don't you don't think about it as being this like long term thing that you're gonna grow up with, you know? And like, how much how much of these people influenced my lives? Like, I've watched every single video Etho has ever put up of any series. You you, you go look at how many how many videos does this guy have? Etho's lab, two thousand three hundred and eighty one videos. Okay. We'll say there would have been maybe like, I don't know, being generous, like 500 videos before I started watching. And that's being like pretty dang generous. So I would have watched like at least like 1,500 
God, I keep going the wrong place. Like 1,500 or so videos of his. Those obviously have influenced me in some way. Like that's, you know, just just looking at the the time investment there, right? Like average of say 20 minutes an episode, 1,500 of them. That's you know 30,000 minutes, um, which is like, uh, what is that like? A thousand. So it's like 500 hours. Of, uh, of Etho content, right? Like, that's 500 hours of content that I've watched of Etho, basically, right? Like, that's... Is that the right math there? It doesn't... Yeah, no, that's, that's the right math. Third of an hour, 1,500. Yeah, that's the right content. That's the right... Like, about 500 hours minimum of his content that I've watched, and... That's that's obviously had an impact on my life, right? And when I, when I subscribed to him so many years ago, I never would have thought that it would have such a huge impact on my life, but obviously it would have if I've been still watching him to now. You know what I mean? Like, I, it, it's just, it's a, I, I have no idea how to explain it in a way that makes sense, but to me it's just like a really, really cool thing to think about. How, uh, such small decisions so long ago, things that seem so unimportant in your life can have such a monumental effect on your life. Like, would I still be wanting to make YouTube videos right now? Would this still be what I want to do right now? If I didn't start watching Etho forever ago? Would this still... Would I... Like, let alone Minecraft YouTube, right? Which is... Like, I just... I love how this thing just kind of pauses there, you know? Um, let alone Minecraft YouTube, which I'm, I'm doing, right? Like, I have Minecraft running in the background right now. Um, let alone that. Just YouTube in general. Would I still be wanting to do that? To this day, if I didn't start watching Etho forever ago, this this variety YouTube content is. I mean, I'm I'm very transparent about it being very much so inspired by uh, Northern Line. Um, just the stuff that I like to do rather than the stuff that he likes to do. Um, but similar style of content, you know, I I. Uh, it obviously has an impact on my life, and it's not to say that um, you know I, I I make my decisions based on like you know what would Etho do. What would Zisto do? What would Northern Lion do? You know, no, 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 no. It's, uh... It's just, um... Yeah, it's, it's interesting to me. I find it, I find it extremely, extremely interesting to think about, uh... How much of an impact those, those small decisions you have to just, like, uh, watch a content creator. Because it's like you grow up with them, you know what I mean? And, uh, it, it's exactly this that makes me understand the, the fanaticism fanatical nature of people with uh, their celebrities, you know, because if you grow up with, uh, like, you know, insert X celebrity or whatever, you have that certain, like, attachment to them, you know what I mean? Like I do with, with Northern Lion, Etho, and Zisto, right? Where, uh, you know, they don't necessarily know about me, but but where I definitely have uh, a fondness for, for them, and uh, it makes me kind of understand people who get super into uh, like celebrity gossip and stuff, you know? Um, I think it's a little bit different because I, I actually have spoken to Etho, Northern Lion, and Zisto, all of them on several occasions, <laughs> you know? They're, they're a little bit more personable, right? Um, than, than like, you know, Kim Kardashian or something, but... Um, Still, it's a similar kind of thing, right? I, I just think it's super fascinating how uh, how I can subscribe to somebody eight, like eight, nine, ten years ago or whatever, and, and still be watching their content to this day. I hope to be that for somebody someday, right? Like, I hope that uh, you know people find me in the next year or something like that, and I'm still making content in ten years, and and other people are looking back on it and being like, "Yeah, I started watching her like ten years ago," and. She's still just doing the same stuff she always did, and it's still just great, and, you know, it's had such an impact on my life, and I want to I kind of be that for other people, and, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's interesting to me. There's this, like, squeaking sound in, uh, Steam Fortress. I think it's the thing that's rising, but... It's like so annoying, so annoying whenever I start up a Steam Fortress run. Um, yeah, anyway, that's, that's what I've been thinking about lately. Um, mostly because an Etho video lately was talking about it. Uh, one of his recent videos was uh, talking about how uh, 
And this is another thing that's really cool to me. That I would love to see in uh, in the you know ten years from now or whatever. Is uh, he he was talking about how you know back when he started he he'd look at his demographics and like thirty percent of his demographic or whatever was under the age of eighteen, and now it's only like four percent or five percent or whatever. So like he can he can clearly see that his uh, his viewers are are sticking with him and like growing older with him and and really like staying and, and, and actually like aging and like you can see that and that's just like a I don't know I, I feel like that would be just a really cool feeling to have as a youtuber to, to be able to see that and to, to really understand that like you were actually a part of so many people's lives growing up that's just I don't know to me it's just incredible how much of an impact that you know youtubers can have on on my life and I'm sure it's uh, it's incredible to them as well too, right? I mean, it's incredible to me at the, even at this point when I'm such a small YouTuber to uh, to be seeing the impact I have on you guys because I know I do, you know, like I know I definitely do, and uh, that that's already like um, really really cool to see. I, uh, I see I see, like viewers add me on uh, on Steam quite often. I, I I actually get quite a few viewers. It's just bizarre to me that that it's actually working. <laughs> it's insane. Um, but uh, I actually get quite a few viewers, and I get like a number of people adding me on Steam, people commenting and stuff, and I see people playing the games that I play on on like Yamacheck tries or on the stream or whatever. And I've, I've talked about it before, but it's just a really cool feeling to have and. To, to see that, you know, like 10 years from now with, with like, I don't know. It's just, it's it's a cool feeling to have, I think. I think it would be. You know, like when, when you have so many people that like, you find a game and you play a game. And then that game is now like, successful because you played it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that you can have that much of an impact on people's lives. Um, that's got to be a cool feeling, right? I don't know. It's not really the stuff that I'm I'm searching for here. I I mostly just really really love how uh, I love I love making videos and, and content and talking and and uh, getting people to to see it and, and tell me that they like it and then also like the videos. Please like my videos. Um, like that's that's what I really really love about uh, about YouTube and I think that's kind of true of a lot of YouTubers. Um, you know the the other stuff is just a bonus, right? But it's definitely a bonus. It's definitely there. And it's nice. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not making any sense, but... I do, uh... I do think about this kind of stuff all the time. Like, actually, all the time. It's it's a fairly frequent, th uh, like, thought that I have. Um... Right, I oftentimes think about how long I've been watching somebody and how much of an influence they've had in my life and... You know, in some cases, it's, like, obvious, like, what kind of an influence they've had on my life. Like, you know, you, you can look at Northern Lion's channel, and you can see a clear influence on, on what I'm doing. And it's not even like I'm copying him. It's just that that's the kind of stuff that I want to do, you know? And that's that's almost certainly, you know, related to, to my uh, interest in his channel, you know? Like, they're almost certainly related. As much as I'm not copying him, the... The desire to make it happen at all probably definitely stems from, you know, enjoying his content. Which is just cool to me. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. Anyway. I want to get a new keyboard. Something with reds, maybe. The thing is, is this is, like, bottoming out. Not really going to change that. Um, and browns are actually, like, reasonably quiet. But they're they're still fairly clicky. But a lot of the click is is just bottoming out the keys, which I should probably try and like be better about. But I just I find myself like clicking all the time. Like I do some pretty like intense clicks, you know. I'm a, I'm a hard clicker. I'm one of those. I I uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I realize sometimes that I'm old. Not like old old, but I definitely realize that uh, I'm a part of the older generation of uh, of people now. You know, not not like uh, elderly, but you know, um, I'm not the I'm not I'm not the young generation anymore, right? Uh, 
Because I was talking in, uh, in voice chat and uh, Rain Meter Discord the other day, and there's this kid who came in to the uh, to the voice chat, and just the slang that they're using. They're talking about capping or something. Like uh, one of the one of the other members was like uh, visiting his his uh, mother's house, or whatever. And uh, so he's like, "Well, I can't talk right now because family's asleep." So the kid was like, um, uh, "What was he like? He was he was saying uh, how that's in." I don't agree with this for the record. If like I'm 25 living at my parents' house for the record, but he was uh, he was uh, he was a kid and he was making fun of uh, of this member for still living with his parents when he was 22. And, uh, I'm like, kids, you don't even know how hard it is to, like, live on your own. <laughs> it's, like, expensive. And then also, like, this other member isn't even, like, he's just visiting his mom. <laughs> Literally. Um, so when he said that, uh, the kid was like, oh, it's just a cap. I'm like, what the heck is a cap? <laughs> like, what, what does this even mean? Um, so it definitely makes me, uh realize that I'm not with it anymore. Nothing that makes me realize that I'm not with it anymore is so I use emojis, right? I use emojis when I'm uh, when I'm typing and that doesn't alone make me old but what makes me old is that sometimes I send an emoji and they're like uh, do you know what that means? I'm like, no, it looked cute. <laughs> You're like, uh, I don't think that means what you meant to mean. I'm like, okay, don't tell me what it means. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't need to know these things. Like um, but I, I'm definitely one of those one of those uh, people who will just like scroll through the list of uh, of emojis and then pick one that that I feel kind of suits the situation and then send it. And sometimes you know, like I'm not the kind of person who's going around sending eggplants to people because I think the eggplant is cute. But um, definitely, the kids have have made some some of the other emotes also. Um, not, you know, family appropriate, if you know what I mean. So, and I wasn't, I'm not in the know of these things, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not with it, right? So, it definitely, uh, whenever I, I I'm not, I'm not the kind, I'm not, I'm not even, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't mind when, uh, when I embarrass myself like that, because I don't even get, I, like, it's not embarrassing, right? Like, I don't know what that means, dude. What do you want me to do about it? Um... But, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person who's, like, uh, gonna be like, oh, I just not send emojis that I don't know anymore. Um, I, I send them anyway, okay? I will, I will send them. There's a lot of, like, heart emojis, which end up meaning certain things, and... Like, the thing is, is, you can go with, like, different... Like, some kids, right? Different colored hearts mean different things, okay? Like, like, a pink heart is, like, love, and a yellow heart is this, and a blue heart is that. And, uh, like, I just, I just thought that yellow was nice at the time. I, I, I just wanted, a, you know, this heart. Like, I didn't, I didn't want all this nuance behind it. I just wanted the heart. Um, there's a lot of, like, hug emojis as well. Lots of, like, like hugging things. And those, those oftentimes end up uh, not being what necessarily you were intending to send. If you know what I mean. Um, that one's kind of obvious, but I'm just like, I just wanted to send a hugging emoji, man. I didn't want it to be a, you know, a beeping emoji. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely the, the ones that get me in the trouble the most are definitely the hearts and the, uh, and the hugging. Sometimes both of them at the same time. You know, sometimes you have a hugging emoji that also has uh, a heart in it. And, oh boy, make sure you get the right hug and the right heart, because, like, kids are going to go insane with that. Speaking of hearts, I, uh, one of my exes, one of my exes was, uh, like, super anti-hearts. And at the time, I was super pro-heart, and, uh, still am. I, uh, I'm definitely, like, somebody who, uh, like, I, I say I love you to my friends, like, all the time. You know what I mean? I, I send hearts all the time, and... Um, back then I was the same, you know? I, I haven't really uh, changed all that much other than uh, realizing that I'm trans and, and uh, now going by Charlotte. I, other than that, I, I really haven't changed all that much. Um, definitely a little bit, but not much. Um, anyway, so when we started dating, 
she uh, she was uncomfortable with the hearts, right? Which is like, you know, okay. You do you, fam. Um, but she didn't like the hearts because she was like, it's too early to, to be sending hearts to each other. And I'm like, girl, I send a heart to like my friends when I go to sleep, okay? You're, get you're getting a heart. Um, but she was like uncomfortable with it. So I was like, okay, like I'll, I'll try my best. But the reality is like when I say good night, you get a heart as well. Okay, that's just like habit so if it slips through like it's gonna go through um, and I haven't had anybody who's uncomfortable with it since I also haven't had any relationships since but uh, as a uh, as an avid heart sender it's uh, it definitely concerns me when I'm uh, gonna be in a relationship eventually just cuz I'm like look before we were dating I sent you hearts when we start dating I'm not taking the hearts away Okay, at, at a certain point, the hearts might mean a different thing necessarily, but but the hearts are staying. Okay, that's that's my stance on it. Some people get uncomfortable by it. It's okay, but I'm past the point where I'm gonna care about people being uncomfortable by me sending them hearts. If you're uncomfortable by, with it, then uh, we're probably not meant to be. I'm sorry, we can't be together. You don't accept my hearts. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I know that a lot of people do, though, right? Like, a lot of people will be, like, sending each other hearts and stuff, and then once they start dating, like, the hearts disappear. Because, I don't know, they don't want to be saying, I love you yet, or whatever. And I'm like, dude, I'd say I love you, like, way earlier. It's not going away either, okay? At a certain point, the connotations behind it will change. But, you know, it's not, uh, it's not going anywhere yet. <laughs> That's that's my stance on it. I just don't like changing just because you're dating somebody, you know. A lot of people do. It's okay. Oh, I don't like that. A lot of people do like changing because you're dating somebody. A lot of people are more comfortable with that. Me? Nah. I don't. Uh, I don't do that. I don't, I don't live that kind of lifestyle. I'll say I love you day one, because I'd, I'd have said it before, like, you know, a billion times already before we started dating. Unless it's like, you know, we met, and then, like, the only reason we met was to date, but, like, typically I only date people who I already knew. I think it works out better that way, personally, but... Anyway, the episode's over, so... Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.